Hey guys, I'm Jill Powell and today we are going to go over everything that you will need to know how to do your brows every single day. So I get so many questions on how to do brows. And I feel you because this is what I am working with. It's not that cute. So I'm gonna show you everything that you need to know how to do brows. And remember, everyone's brows are different. So I'm gonna try to explain how you can make your brows look the best because some people may have a lot of hair. Some people may have what I've got going on. I have a little leftover microblading that I need to get touched up and um, my 90s brow from plucking it too much when I was younger. So whatever you have, I'm gonna show you how to get the proper brow for your face shape. So starting out, you always want the beginning of your brow. I, I like to take a pencil just to see it. Um, it's easy if you take something where you can mark it. So take a brow pencil. This one is Brow Wiz by Anastasia. And you want your brow to start on the side of your nose. So see right there, side of my nose, straight up, and that's my old microblading because my brows do not start where they're supposed to. So I added a little bit in here. So side of your nose and you want to mark it. So put a little doo doo doo. There you go. Well, this one's, there we go. So that's where I want my brow to start. Side of your nose, straight up. You want your brow to end side of your nose, outside of your eye. There. So you can see I have a little bit of old microblading because my brows do not end where they're supposed to. So I'm going to add a little bit. So again, side of your nose, outside of your eye. That is where your brows should end. So that's about how long they are. So inner, outer. Now your arch, this is where you need to look straight in the mirror. Your arch should be on the outside of your eye. So mine arches probably a little bit early, but that should be the top point of your arch right on the outer part of your eyeball. So that's where my arch will be. So you can make a little dot there. So those are your main points of your brow. So the beginning, the end, and the arch. Now for me, I love my brow to be a little bit more angular and thicker in the beginning, and then taper off and be a little bit skinnier on the outside. So what I like to do is take your brow pencil, and I like to create the bottom shape first. So I'm going to go right along the bottom part of my brow. And right now my brow kind of curves up because in the 90s, we used to pluck all this stuff here. So I've got a little bit of a hole on my underneath right here. Thank you, Pamela Anderson, for telling us to pluck our brows really thin. She didn't tell us. She just had really thin brows and we all copied her because she was the epitome of beauty in the 90s. So as you can see, my brow hair is actually really long. I don't even pluck my brows anymore because they don't grow. So I just keep them natural. I try to savor every little hair that I have. Um, so if you're my age and this is what's going on, it's okay. If you are in the younger generation and you were smart and did not over pluck your brows, you may need to trim your brows. You may need to pluck, you may need to shape. Um, but for us uh, in our mid thirties, we leave them natural. So that's what I'm working with here. So I need to fill in all that underneath. Again, I have some old microblading there, so you can kind of see a little bit of a stencil, but I like to fill all of that in. And I'm using a color that is pretty much the color of my brow hair because I need to do a lot of filling in. If you have a lot of hair, go a little bit lighter, otherwise your brows will be very strong. So I suggest using something um, that's almost like a taupe or an ashy color, depending on your hair color, obviously. But you want to make sure that it, it doesn't look too dark and too strong. I have holes, so I need to fill in. So I like to use um, the spoolie on the end of any of your brow pencils. Most of them have them nowadays. If you don't, you can always use a little mascara one or use an old brow pencil that has it. Um, they also sell little spoolies by themselves. And just brush the hair upward. Mine's really long. 
Um, if you have bushy or brows, you can actually trim off the excess off the top but I like to keep mine long because I don't have a lot. So I'm savoring every little hair that I get. And then in that center part, I like to brush down. So I'm going to kind of create the top shape right now. And I'm just filling in on the top, arching where I had made my little mark, which is on the outside of my eyeball, remember? And then I'm gonna bring it all the way down and I'm just filling in the hair. And then in the beginning, I like my beginning, so it's not too squared off. I do like it a little bit longer, so I'm just gonna feather in brow hairs. And then I'm gonna take my spoolie and kind of comb it through because I like this to be a little bit softer. I don't want it to be like a really harsh edge on the top. Okay, so then I like to just check for everything to make sure, so I'll brush the hairs up. You can also set it with a brow gel. I personally, for myself, love using a little bit of a tinted brow gel. This one's by Hourglass, and it just kind of gives a little bit of texture and keeps my hair in place and makes it look really clean and not as fake, not as drawn on, just kind of what I'm going for. Some people like the really drawn on brow. Some people will correct with a concealer and kind of sharpen everything. I personally like a softer brow, so again, do what you wanna do. Um, if you're using a concealer to correct, make sure you're using a flat concealer brush and probably more of a concealer that's a drier consistency. You don't want it to be super wet and smeary so that everything moves all over. Um, but that is pretty much how you do your brow. So I'm gonna walk you through on the other side just to recap a little bit. So here is my wonderful 90s brow that I've got working with. I'm going to brush all the hair up just to see my shape. And it is a hot mess, but we are going to fix that. So again, where does it start? It starts side of your nose, straight up. I know where my points are, so I'm not going to use that this time, but I'm going to show you guys. It's going to finish over here, and it's going to arc right on the outside of your eyeball. So I am just going to start. This is how I do it at home. I start my beginning part and then I draw my hairs going up so that that looks really natural and then I draw all the way underneath and this is where I have a huge gap so I draw that in and I fill that in like that and I get my arch going right there And I fill in a little bit right here. Just draw those hairs. When I do this, if I just find it gives me more of like a natural like finish. And then I'm gonna fill in a little bit on the top. Again, those light little strokes really makes it look very natural. Give myself a little bit more of an arch. When you're doing brows, you always wanna step back and kind of see what they're looking like. Anytime I'm doing makeup, you wanna step back from the mirror. Just to double check this eye, I'm almost done here. But I like to, those, since I did this eye with a little bit more of the brush strokes, like hair strokes, I didn't have to correct as much. I was teaching you guys a lot on this eye, so I did things a little bit differently just so you could see it. But this is pretty much how I do my brows every day. And I've been going a little bit thicker these days. I need to get my brows re-microbladed. If you guys want to know about microblading, leave a comment below. I would love to know if you want to follow me and maybe do a microblading video. Thoughts? All right, and then I just brush, and again, we are going to seal and fix the brow hairs in place with a little bit of brow gel. This one is a tinted brow gel from Hourglass, and I don't need a lot of it, but just a little bit to get those hairs right where we want it. This one has like a little bit of like a caramel color to it and I like it because it just gives a highlight and makes makes it look more natural. So you go from 90s brows to current brows. Just like that. So just to recap, your brows should always start on the side of your nose straight up on either side. They should finish 
from the side of your nose to the end of your eyeball. Make a little triangle right there on both sides. And then the arch should be on the outside of your eyeball. And I personally like it a little bit more squared off here. You can do it more rounded. Again, personalize your face shape. Do what's best for you. I need to fill in a lot. I need to correct a lot, um, which is why I got microblading in the first place. And now I need to fill in my microblading a little bit because it's been way too long since I've had it touched up. So I like to do that with a small brow pencil. A lot of times if I'm in a hurry, I will use a brow pencil that has more of an angle to it. So this guy's by Charlotte Tilbury. Um, Hourglass has some, Smashbox has some. So this tip is actually more of like a triangle and you can get your brow done really fast because it's a little bit thicker. So I do love this for an everyday as well. Um, there's also brow pens, which are really nice. It kind of gives like the brow hair look. So if you like microblading and when I have my microblading done and it needs to be touched up at the very beginning, sometimes I'll use something more like a pen. This one's by Ardell. It's called Stroke a Brow. Um, Anastasia has some. There's a bunch of brands that have the brow pens. I think Stila has one as well. Um, this one's another one by Ilure, and this one's a little bit thicker of a pen. I personally like the thinner pens. This one has two sides actually, so a thinner side and a thicker side. Um, the pens are really nice because they're usually longer wearing, sometimes waterproof, so I really like those. There's also like a dip brow or like a pomade, so something where you would use an angle brush and draw that in. For me personally, I was using it for a while, but I, I just stick to my brow pencil. It's easy to throw in my bag. It's one thing, I can do it really quick, so. Again, customizing brows is really, really important. So use what's best for you. Some people, all they need is a tinted brow gel. Maybe you have hair, but it's just really blonde or it's gone gray. So you can use something like that just to give a little bit more color to your brows and bring them out. But if you see the difference of my before and after, me with brows is way better. I promise you, it, it frames my eyes, it frames my face, and it just makes me look complete. And in photos, it just makes everything look way more perfect. Thanks again for watching my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment below what you want to see next. All of the products used in my video are also linked below. And if you want to see more, follow me anywhere at Joe Powell Glam. Thanks again.